Hey, hey, what's up? How you doing today? Focus in on the uh, routing of the primary drive belt on this. Specifically, it's a Troy built LTX 1842, but I think they're very similar to a bunch of other models. So, I screwed this up. Bear with me. And, uh, here's how it has to run. This is the long drive belt. This is the front of the mower. There's your engine pulley. But it has to run in between these two pulleys. Which means when you push on the pedal, it tightens them up right there. But I had it wrong and I felt really dumb. Supposedly a smart person learns from their mistakes and a wise person learns from other people's mistakes. So maybe I'll help somebody be wise. But anyway, it has to run in between these two. I was trying to do something stupid and run it that way or whatever but the book doesn't have a really clear picture and this is the most complicated part i'd never done this before and had to call for help but even my i didn't feel as bad when even my very experienced mechanic had to think about it and it was you know it, it's easy to screw up so it just runs this one runs front to back nice and straight but this one has to go in between those two pulleys and it keeps the, the pedal forward up towards you. Otherwise, when it's screwed up, it's all like limp and staying down like that. The rest is pretty straightforward. The front, I just used a 5-8 socket with an extension and, and grip onto it. You can see where I was grabbing it with the channel locks. And uh, you have to work that up in there too. It's hard to see, but it's right there. That takes some time too, but uh, at least it only goes on there that one way. And then in the back, of course, you gotta <clears throat> bear with. Me. You gotta take the battery and the tray out to get to the back, but um, it's it's a little more straightforward. So. Anyway, it's got a top one that comes off. It's pretty easy. It's spring loaded, and then the bottom you got to take the uh, the pulley out. But there's other videos that show that, so I thought I'd share share my screw up. So got to get that belt routing right on that where it engages. Those two pulleys engage, you know, your accelerator pedal right here. So it's got to be uh, nice and and. Uh, Perky like that, I guess you could call it. Uh, on the deck, um, be sure and grease these guys up good because they were pretty much rusted up, seized up when I first when I couldn't get them to move. But then when you're done, you can pull it out like that and be ready to put it back in. This one's similar. Something like that. As long as it doesn't, and those pins, it goes back into the uh, top of the mower for height height adjustment. Um, what else? These belts are pretty old and cracked, but uh, sometime when I get time, get around to it, I'm gonna soak them in some. Oh, um, grease this too. Hold on, because this this guy was seized up rusted up too so put some grease down in that on the deck right there in between that but yeah even these worn out belts but uh i learned about this stuff last year and wish i'd known about it a lot sooner you don't have to get this high dollar stuff but this is like armor all on steroids but even on a you, uh, on a used belt or even a brand new one soak it in this stuff put it in a container roll it up uh, you have to get a bigger container for big long belts but uh, I'm a believer in this stuff it helps with uh, definitely helps the belts last longer and uh, cuts down on squealing and all that good stuff so anyway I think that's about it hope that helps somebody out have a good day take care bye